YouTube, I'm gonna keep this intro real short and sweet. Um, in this video, I did a taper fade. Now, this client has, it, it, this client goes way back, all right? Way back to when I was in school, and he ended up following me to Velocity Cuts. And I really appreciate Armani for, for, for coming through and sticking with me, man. Like, he probably is the only one that I met in school and was a client in school and still comes and gets a cut from me today so I appreciate him for just coming through and showing love like he does but uh, you guys probably seen him before if you guys follow me on this whole little journey that I did through school you probably noticed that he looks a little familiar but he's grown up now you know what I mean he got a little chin hair a little you know what I mean he look older so you guys want to stay tuned and watch I'm gonna tell you how I did it it's your boy 360 Jeezy stay tuned Right now I'm putting in my duck clips just to separate the top from the bottom. I don't want the top uh, hanging over, you know, and getting in the way. So before each cut, you guys want to make sure you comb or brush down the hair. It just makes for a neater haircut when you do this. You don't want to start the blend off sloppy. So that's why I'm combing and brushing the hair down first. Right now I got my three guard open and I'm taking off. Um, a lot from the sides. He wants a three on the sides. That's the fade part. All right. I know. It, I know you, some of you guys are like, "What's a taper fade?" Right now, I'm actually doing the fade part of the taper fade. So I'm just knocking down the sides to a number three. Using the clipper over comb technique with my wall magic clips. Um, keep in mind these are balding clippers now. I converted them into balding clippers. And uh, I'm just taking off the bulk from the sides, um, getting it as neat as possible. Um, going up with the comb and whatever is sticking out, I'm just uh, knocking it off. Right here I put back on the three guard and I'm just going straight up cleaning everything up. Using my wall magic clips I'm setting in my first guy line which is the ball line. Using the Andy shavers I'm just balding out the uh, bottom just so it's a, a neater job. Right now I got my lever open using my Oscars Fast Feeds and I'm going up about an inch. With the one guard open, go up another inch and just make sure everything is the same width. With the one guard closed, you're softening up that middle line in a flick out motion. With the zero guard closed in a flick out motion, flick out the middle line. Now it's time to take out that bottom line and you do that by using the lever closed. Using my Andy Slimline 
Line Pro LIs, I'm setting in my bolt line in the back. Now, you guys are seeing that I'm doing it in like a rainbow shape versus a straight line. You guys are, will you guys will be able to see how clean it looks, you know, using the rainbow, you know, technique rather than just a straight line. With the ND shavers, you're just balding out the bottom, making sure everything is, you know, razor bald. With the lever open, just go up about an inch and keep it consistent in that rainbow shape. Now with the one guard open, just go up again in that same shape, go up about an inch and just keep it consistent. Right now I got my two guard and just cleaning up the bolt from the top. Dropping back down with the one guard open and I'm just cleaning up the area between the one and the two, just flicking out. Now dropping the lever with the one guard closed, I'm just flicking out that middle line. Keep in mind that it's not going to take it out, it's just going to soften it up so you can come behind it with the next guard. Now the next guard is the zero guard close and now you're going to be able to flick out this middle line and it all blend in. Now with the lever closed, flick out that bottom line and keep in mind that you're going to have to open it slightly just to, uh, you know, get certain areas to blend in. Don't just rely on the, the lever closed and that's it, you know. Adjust your levers as you go. Now here's where I'm doing some detail work. I'm using my corners of my, my blade, just getting into areas where I see, uh, you know, bulk. So, and if I see a line like I need to get out, I just use the tip of my corners just to, you know, smoothen everything out. All right, you guys, I showed you what to do on the other side. So this side is no different. Just do the same thing and I'm gonna speed this up.
YouTube, this is The Cut, and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. My Snapchat is 360GZ. No, it's not. No, it's not. That's my Instagram. I just messed up. I'm going to keep this in here. But my Snapchat is GZ360 because they wouldn't allow me to put the 360 first. But it's your boy 360GZ, and I'm out of here. Cheers.